young people going back to how they were recruited. Um, I was an attached youth worker, so I had some contact with the young people, but concerning knowing their personalities, um, I didn't really know them that well. So it was basically based on the perceptions of the community, which were quite negative. Uh, well, it was basically just hanging about the streets, doing nothing, nothing to do, no like community projects to get involved in, and then a group of like uh, community workers at St Van Martin and Aaron approached us and asked us how we'd feel like getting involved in a young leaders program. I mean, we were told we're going to be making a film. We were skeptical at first, but once it started rolling, we really knew that this was actually happening. I've been given the role of assistant director and it's great to have that there job because there's nobody ever been trusting enough to give me a big job this year. And Probably the best moment was when we had the premiere for our film. We got to get all dressed up and got away mini red carpet and went down to the Odeon in Belfast. Like all our family and friends came down and the whole cinema place was full and everybody got to say our film that we made. Well, after our initial success of the film, we wanted to go more in and help out the community, so we thought a good way of doing that there to get the children involved as well, big community festival, bring the whole community together. It was good because it gave a positive thing for our community, like we've never had anything like that before, and then it just showed that our whole community was behind us. My name's Mike, and I'm part of the North Lurgan Youth Programme, and this is what we have produced in six weeks, and we're looking to forward to more fun events like this here. I think from then, the next stage for them with the young people was focusing on personal placements. If you want to watch back what you've done, switch over to media. I always wanted to do something you know, in the media industry, so I got the opportunity to go over there and work with people um, from like a media school. You haven't actually got it yet. Just didn't think I could ever be able to do anything with that in your life. And just the experience of travelling and all, like I'd never been on an airplane in my life or anything, and I'd never even nerve earned. Just getting even to go to another country was brilliant. When the young people first started the programme, it was they were highlighted as being involved in a lot of negative behaviour. And using the time that they've been away and the stuff that they've achieved, the community are now able to see them in a more positive light. And I think that opens up into their next journey, you know, of becoming mentors and future leaders for the community. I mean, back when I started off, I doubt it was that, that enthusiastic about doing work and doing qualifications and all, but now at the end of it, like you realise that there is a certain amount of stuff that you can, uh, that, that can benefit you a little bit. So when you do it, so at the end of it, I would say now I'd probably be a lot more confident and be a lot more willing to work like. We're, we're completely disengaged, now they're very engaged. They, they see life outside, they see career paths for them. And it's our role now to try and facilitate some of those sort of avenues for them. So they're not back into the sort of insular, isolated, you know, I'm in this job just for the fact that I've got to be in this job. They've helped me to like, help my life to look forward and know to have something to aspire to. And to know that life's not just where you live, it's the whole world. Like, you can, like it's helped me to, like, you can do anything you like, remind it like.